है गाइज हेलो रुवान एंड वेलकम टू द चैनल तो टेक्निकली 35 फाइव टू फोर्टी डेज आर लेफ्ट फॉर योर अपकमिंग सी एस आर नेट एग्जाम विच इज सी एस आर दिसंबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर एग्जाम एंड आई एम हेयर टू टॉक अबाउट वॉट आर द थिंग्स दैट यू कैन डू इन दीज रिमेनिंग डेज दैट कैन हेल्प यू गेट सम एक्स्ट्रा मार्क्स और दैट कैन इनहेंस योर स्कोर फॉर द अपकमिंग एग्जाम और राइट सो आई होप दैट यू हैव ऑलरेडी वॉच माई प्रीवियस वीडियो वेर आई हैव डिस्कस अबाउट सिक्सटी डेज स्ट्रैटेजी where i have discussed about what are the things that you can do in the last 60 days but here now i'm assuming few things okay i'm assuming that you have already covered major part of your syllabus i'm assuming that you have already solved a lot of previous year's questions okay so these two things you should have already done in case if you have just finished your syllabus and you have not done previous year's questions then also it is the time then you should actually start solving your previous year's question and you should not miss out that okay because see the thing is that these are the three important or crucial steps when you prepare for exam the number one is to finish up your syllabus not entirely but a major junk a major portion of that i have already discussed about that part in my previous video so i'm not going to uh, repeat that again but yeah major part of your syllabus should be completed that's the first and the most important thing second thing is that you should have done previous years questions now you have already a database of Uh, since CSIR June 2011 to CSIR June 2024, so you have around 22 to 24 uh, question papers that you can actually solve. But I'm not uh, like I'm not telling you to solve each and every question, but at least try to do previous five years of questions. Okay, previous five years of questions. If you do, uh, that is going to give you a better idea that what type of question CSIR asks, what is the level of question, what is the way of asking questions. So so many things gets clear in your mind. if you solve previous years questions just to inform you guys about it that in case if you have prepared certain topics of your csr net exam let's say if you have just prepared certain topics from organic chemistry let's say you have just prepared uh, uh, like spectroscopy you have prepared general organic chemistry you have prepared stereochemistry you have prepared aromaticity these basic things and pericyclic reactions and you have not prepared uh, reaction mechanism or name reaction then it becomes difficult for you to uh, to fetch out questions from question paper and then try to solve it so that part we have made it simpler for you we have launched our ebook in which we have questions that are uh, like segregated in topic wise so if you want that you can purchase it from our link which are given in the description of this video so you can purchase the ebook ebooks are like for these there are three ebooks for organic inorganic and physical chemistry all these three ebooks have topic wise questions segregated so in this way you will be getting a lot of questions starting from csr june 2011 till june 2024 all these questions have been segregated in topic wise so the topic which you have prepared you can solve previous year's question of that get to know about that that what type what type of questions are asked in exam and whether you are able to solve them or not so as i was telling this is the second stage which you have to do okay solving previous year's question and the third stage which is an additional stage which you have to do in order to enhance your score in order to uh, you know understand what uh, you can expect in your exam that is to solve or to attend mock test or to give test series see there are a lot of students i have been teaching from la last many years and i have realized that there are many students there are two types of students actually okay one are those who understand the concept completely who are very good at subject let's say i have many students who are very good at organic or inorganic or certain topics but when a question is asked from that topic in exam there are certain students who are not able to solve that the reason is that understanding a concept and solving questions related to that especially in competitive exam are two very different things okay Uh, there are many people who are very good at chemistry who know the concepts who know the topic who have also completed their syllabus who have enough knowledge and they can be a very good candidate for a phd uh, like uh, uh, like for phd or for research but when they sit for a competitive exam it becomes very difficult for them to qualify that the reason being that these competitive exam they require not only concept the knowledge of concept but also to utilize that particular interface in the way of like time management then because csr also gives you a lot of options in question paper that means out of 40 question you have to do 35 in part b out of 60 you have to do 25 in part c so that means it also checks that whether you are able to choose those correct questions or not or you are able to make that decision that which 
25 questions you are going to select out of 60 or which 35 questions you are going to select out of 40 in part B or in part C. Okay. So, that uh, like selection of question is also a art. It is also something which you have to understand. It is I call it the way how you give the exam. Okay. So, you should know the way how you are giving this exam. Not only understanding or un, uh, like uh, having knowledge of the subject is important, but also it is important to know the art of giving this exam. Okay. And that can be developed if you give test series. So, for this we have launched our own test series on our app. Link is again in the description of this video. The test series is curated in a way that it provides you complete exam like interface. I have made a detailed video on that. You can watch that video as well. But as I am telling you that we have given a full exam like interface. We have given you four full length mock tests in that. That does not come with previous year's question or something. Okay, They have new questions so that it becomes challenging for you when you sit in the exam and you can test yourself. The idea of giving mock test or the idea of giving test series is there are two basic things which you need to uh, like fulfill from a test series. Okay, One is whether uh, you have understood the concept or not by challenging yourself with new questions. Okay, That is the one thing which you have to do. And second thing is that you need to know that uh, which concepts are weak for you and which are the areas where you have to work upon and whether you are able to manage the time or not. Okay, So, all these things are being taken care of by our test series because we provide entirely exam like experience. We provide you a test series which has complete uh, section A which has 20 questions and out of 20 you have to do 15, section B which has 40 questions out of 40 you have to do 35 and section C which has 60 questions out of 60 you have to do 25. So, it is just same to same how you sit for your CSR net exam. So, if you give these test series you will get a good idea or you will actually be able to practice that question selection technique. Okay, The technique of selecting perfect or selecting those uh, questions which you are more confident of. So, basically a test series like this can help you to not only understand the concept or not only to make you understand that how much you have studied give you a reality check but also it will also help you to identify that whether you are able to finish the test in three hours or not whether you are able to um, I mean whether you are able to do a proper selection of questions or not okay. I will be making a very detailed video on how to utilize this test series in the best way but for now I am just telling that if you want you should buy this test series and practice for the uh, for the coming exam okay so this is another important thing which you have to do and these are the three major things which you have to do now out of these three major things as i have said one additional thing also you can add in your in your upcoming days that is to practice aptitude questions because see the csr net exam comes uh, with aptitude questions and it has 20 aptitude questions out of those 15 you have to do that means and each question is of two marks so, it can give you very important 30 marks. So, solving aptitude questions or practicing aptitude questions also helps you to get some extra marks in your exam. And I have seen many students for them these aptitude marks were the deciding factor whether there will be net, they will be net only or they will be net plus JRF. Okay? So, they actually crossed this cutoff just with the help of these aptitude questions. That is why it, it can be game changer many times. Okay, So, you have to be good with aptitude also. I am not telling to solve all 15 question in exam or uh, to get 30 out of 30 in part A. If that is so, it is well and good. But at least you should have an idea. You cannot be someone who is totally ignorant about part A or, or aptitude part because that is an important part of your exam. That is an important part of your question paper. Okay. So, these are the things on which you have to focus upon. So, as I said that you just have now 35 to 40 days for the upcoming exam. You should have already finished your syllabus, not entirely, but at least major part of your syllabus should be done. If you think that you have not covered syllabus and there are a lot of topics which are left for your, uh, for the exam to like, because the exam is quite near. So, you have a lot of topics to be finished before that. So, try to do that as early as possible. Okay, You cannot uh, sit in the exam with just few topics. You have to at least cover 60 to 70 percent of your syllabus. Okay. When I am telling 60 to 70 percent, I am talking about the entire syllabus combining organic, inorganic and physical chemistry all three. Okay. So, you should be very good at one of them. You should be good at the other one of them. I mean, 
very good at any three of them okay it can be organic inorganic or physical you should be very good at one of them you can be good at the other one and you can be average at the third if that is so then you can be uh, like sure enough and you can just now focus upon the other parts that is previous years and uh, test series the first stage should be covered that means you should cover your 60 to 70 percent of a syllabus finish that do previous years questions you can use our ebook for that and the third thing is you should give test series for understanding the art of uh, selection of question and to uh, know how to utilize and manage your time because you cannot do that in the last 10 days last 10 days should be kept just only for your revision okay so try to utilize this days in this particular way and of course aptitude should be done for aptitude we have our own aptitude series okay so we have our own aptitude series for csr net and that is there in the playlist form you can watch those videos i'll try to add few more topics in that particular playlist in the upcoming days if you want any specific type of video in the coming days please let me know in the comment section below we have already started a series of a smart question series where i have done some questions of previous csr net and gate exam which were quite challenging and tricky and the concept behind them has been explained in those videos so you can watch them as well and uh, yeah your suggestions and feedbacks are highly encouraged so thank you so much for watching this particular video i will see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care and all the best for your preparation